Well, top of the morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, July 4th, day 109 on the Appalachian Trail. So yesterday, I went from the campsite to Pinkham Notch Visitor Center, and there I had a roast beef sandwich with some chips, a bowl of soup, and a pint of Ben and & Jerry's. And then I proceeded on to the Carter Notch Hut. And I, uh, uh, to stay at one of the AMC huts, it's about $170 a night just for a bunk. Well, a bunk, you get dinner and breakfast. And, uh, but through hikers, they allow two through hikers a day to work for stay. So I showed up about seven o'clock at night, asked if they had uh, work for stay available, and they did. So basically, I uh, wiped down tables, changed the uh, aluminum foil on the drip pans of the oven, and then uh, cleaned one of those racks. It's like a big dishwasher rack that all the cups go in that was full of mold. That was a pain. <laughs> it's funny because the guy felt bad for me. So he goes, that's good enough. And I said, no, I go, I want to keep going, try to do a good job. But I had a little tiny like wire to toothbrush, basically cleaning all the little crevices and notches, which there were a million of. So anyway, it was good. So that got me a bunk, a dinner, and a breakfast. So now I'm off to uh, another campsite. Obviously, I don't remember the name because I don't remember the name of anything. The other through hiker that was uh, work for stay was from Germany. His name is Hungry Jack because he's always hungry. But anyway, oh, the other thing is the GPS on my phone seems to be uh, failed. So now the little blue dot on the map doesn't show where I am. I'm hoping it's just a matter of all the water from all the rain we've had and humidity and that'll eventually start working again. But now I gotta be very careful just to make sure I stay on the trail because there aren't enough white blazes. The paint for white blazes is extremely expensive. It's like gold, so they barely mark any trees anymore. That's just a joke, but it's true. They barely mark the trail anymore. All right, anything comes up, I'll let you know. So as you can probably tell from my videos, um, I'm ready for this hike to be done. So basically now it's just a means of getting to the end point. Pretty much up until the end of Vermont, I was having a great time. I'm not saying I'm not having a good time, but it's just getting getting long now. I think the rain just sucks the kind of some of the joy right out of the thing. So you know, always being wet, putting on wet clothes, wet socks, wet shoes every day. Carrying a wet pack, which is probably a few pounds heavier. So anyway, I figured like, you know, that whole top of the morning to you, you know, and you're not having that anymore. It's more like the top of the morning to you. But anyway, and uh, so not only is it wet, but the, uh, you know, the terrain is a lot tougher here in the whites. You know, a lot of steep ups and downs through rock gardens. But anyway, not that I'm not going to complete it. I'm going to complete it. But, you know, that whole sense of enthusiasm seems to have waned a bit. Here's our view of the morning. We're going up to Carter Dome. You can actually see the Carter Notch Hut there. That's where I did my work for stay last night. I don't know if it's because of all the rain, but these, um, I don't know, what would you call them, snails, grubs, are all over the place. I can't, uh, I've, a few times I've grabbed the tree and didn't realize there was a snail behind it and basically smushed it into my hands. And I can tell you right now that uh, their slime is not easy to get off your hands. There's a town over there. I wonder if that's Gorham. Okay, here's another view. I figure we'll get it in before the thunderstorm hits. I can hear the rumbling of the thunder off in the distance. And you'll see there's dark clouds heading our way. So, probably won't be long before I'm completely drenched. Well, the thunderstorm passed by. Just a light sprinkle. Huh. Maybe my luck's changing. 
So there's a lunar moth here. It seems to be struggling to fly or something. I don't know. It looks like its wings are fine. So I think I'm going to put it like up on a branch or something. I just don't know what's going on with it. I feel bad.